This is a very fast card. All right, coming in from Manfrotto. This is a memory card. I probably guess that you may not have known that Manfrotto actually brands their own memory cards as well. Uh, this costs £199 off of their website, but it promises to be a very fast memory card and we're going to put it through a few tests just to see how fast this actually is. This is the V90. Uh, it's an SD UHS-2. Uh, it, it, it has these braggings on the back, which is 4K video. Uh, it can uh, one to it which we have here does about 31 minutes of 4k video which doesn't sound a heck of a lot but then 4k video is huge or 15 minutes of 6k video which you can what well, if i fit a massive three minutes into 32 gigabytes whenever you see those sorts of numbers you just think wow this this is really quite large this video format okay so they say that this is tougher than tough. It's three times tougher than a regular SD card, which is something that I, I want to have a look at, which is why we're doing an unboxing. It also has pro weather performance, uh, which is built to withstand temperature variations of 20, minus 25 degrees to 85 degrees. So that, that's, that's another consideration whenever you're taking into account um, just how much money you're paying here for an SD card. And then it's waterproof and dustproof, which is really nice too. So it is an all about town kind of uh, SD card that's gonna get you through all kinds of various different situations. Uh, the read write speed is written up there in the top in the red, which is 200 megabytes per second, and read, read, uh, write speed is 250 megabytes per second. Okay, uh, right, we'll, we'll just dig in. Well, we'll just tear into it because it's an indestructible, well, it's not indestructible, but it's a, it's a tough card and uh, it should take what we throw at it. Not that we're gonna throw too much at it. Um, feels very, very much like a very standard SD card. Obviously it has uh, extended copper panels at the back there to, to allow for uh, uh, faster read speeds and write speeds. There isn't a switch on the side for copy protection, which I don't, no, I don't think I've checked all my SD cards to see whether that is a, a thing or not. Maybe I should have. So it looks standard. That's an SD card. All right, thanks for watching, bye. Now we're gonna go and plug it into the computer and, um, and run some uh, crystal mark benchmarking things on it. Perhaps it means if you keep it in this, it'll be a little more climate based. No, no, it wouldn't be because you have to take it out to put it in the camera. All right. Okay. Well, let's plug it in. Okay. So here we are about to do a quick speed test of this card. I'm going to hit go and and leave it to run and while it's running i'll take you through some of the other speed tests that i did today because i just felt like doing a bunch of speed tests uh the first was for my 970 evo plus that's in the machine which is my main drive and uh it's getting well uh, really supersonic speeds here which is it's getting 3578 and then 1931 uh, which is pretty good um, moving on to our, my other Kingston drive, which is my, my install everything drive, is, uh, is about 463 in the sequential uh, read speed, and then the write speed is 411, which is kind of good. Uh, the sequential means uh, putting it in order. Uh, so the top two are the, the sequential ones, where it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the, the bottom one is a bit slower because it puts it in different order. It's a random order, so it'll always be a little bit slower. In this case, it's considerably slower. That SSD isn't bad, I suppose. It was a cheap one, but it was two terabytes. So, um, yeah. Um, having a look at one of my old storage drives, which is a, an old four terabyte spinning hard drive, you can see the read speed in sequential is about 133 and the write speed is 128. Now this is a, a, a four terabyte uh, spinning hard drive, I think made by Hitachi, I can't quite remember, but I've, I've had it for years, so it's it's probably seen its day. It's just used as a storage drive, so it's fine for that, where I back up all videos and stuff like that. And then moving on to my current camera uh, card that I use for recording all my videos, which is made by Toshiba. Um, you can see the sequential speed, and this is a 64 gigabyte 
Exuria Pro that I think I actually unboxed here on the channel some years ago and I've been using it since. Uh, the speeds seem to be in the sequential side, uh, 253 by 214. And then random would be uh, 18 by 1.29. So it, it is pretty fast. Now that uh, brags that it's 260 megabytes per second and that's pretty much what we're getting here. Which made me do a bit of a format on the Manfrotto car just to see how much we lose. And whilst it's bragged at 128 uh, because of the way K works out, it, it never quite works out perfectly. So we actually have a free space of 119 gigabytes, which isn't too bad. That's going to still do uh, at least about 30 minutes of 4K. <laughs> Okay, and then we come to the end of our Manfrotto crystal disc marking, and we can see that it's 236 as a read speed, which is considerably lower than the Toshiba. And then the write speed is much lower at 166 megabytes per second. Um, that makes me think that perhaps there's something going on here. Yet, uh, going down to the, the random, the write test being quite a bit, almost double that of what the Toshiba was doing. So having formatted the drive and carrying on with another test, uh, we can see that there is a marginal improvement, but that's about it. And I'm guessing that perhaps maybe my gear isn't quite uh, up to the spec of measuring a V90 as opposed to a V60, which the Toshiba prior to it was. However, the notable thing might be that uh, it could be the buffering for the camera may get uh, slightly better performance whenever it comes to those right speeds on the random sequencing. So I'm going to try and measure the speed between the two by copying a couple of gigabytes onto the hard disk from the drive to see if we get faster speeds. Okay, so recording a video called Panasonic.mp4 for another video that I am putting together. Uh, you can see that it copied across in 20 seconds at a rate of 193 megabytes per second to my local hard drive. And then doing the same thing with my Toshiba card, which is titled Lumix. Uh, it took 19 seconds at 200 megabytes per second. So that was notably faster and saving one second on time. And that's the V60 card. Then moving the moving back from the card to the hard disk, the Panasonic file took 18 seconds at 250, 215 megabytes per second, and that's copying from the Manfrotto onto the hard disk. Whereas the Toshiba managed to do that in 17 seconds at 266 megabytes per second. Now, that's not to say that this is a better card in any way. Um, the Toshiba um, may be more optimized for my setup, and perhaps I need to go out and get some sort of uh, faster card reader. Perhaps it's not uh, set up to recognize a V90. So that is something that a probably a professional photographer would take into account whenever they're buying new gear or adding new gear to their selection. Uh, recording... 6K, which would be something that we're not able to do at the moment, we can only record 4K here, uh, may have a notable difference. So with the average user, I would probably suggest that unless you want to future-proof yourself and go out and buy a card now that uh, is capable of doing the V90 speeds, then go right ahead. Um, they will probably come down in price uh, and only a professional photographer would really be able to uh, take advantage of the speed difference there. For me, uh, I would notice a small speed decrease, although I have a slightly larger capacity card um, and a larger price to pay for that. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And remember to tune into the Tech Addicts podcast on a Sunday afternoon. There's a new episode every week. And Talk Sport on a Wednesday morning at half past midnight for Inspect Your Gadget. And other than that, take care.